Your name might be on the title. It might be parked in your garage. But I'm the owner because I'm the king of the islands. Today we're going to talk about the coolant reroute using existing parts on the car for the 2001 through 2005 Mazda Miata. As a lot of you already know, the Mazda Miata was initially used the engine designed for the 323, which was a front wheel drive car. And when it was used in that car, the coolant was actually routed through the engine. So the coolant entered uh, through the front of the engine and then exited through the back of the engine, carrying all the heat of the engine with it as it traveled through the engine. In the Mazda Miata, the coolant actually enters the front of the engine and exits the front of the engine so that the rear of the engine leaves a hot spot in the engine. The Mazda engineers have designed the Mazda Miata so that the heater is always in constant use to help cool off the rear of the engine. What we're going to do is use existing parts on this series Miata 2001 through 2005 to move the thermostat from the front of the engine to the back of the engine to allow it, the, initial, the original design to be reused on this car. You, the current Miata has the radiator up front and you have a port on the top of the radiator and a port on the bottom of the radiator. All conventional radiators have the coolant comes into, comes from the engine into the upper and as it comes in then it drops through the radiator, gravity pulls it through the radiator and then it comes out the bottom of the radiator. The water pump is the suction and it pulls it into, into the engine. So this is the coolant, this is how the coolant flows in the current Mazda Miata. So it comes from the front of the engine into the radiator, drops through the radiator, it's cooled off, and then the pump is actually a suction, pulls it back into the engine, and it continues the process as it goes through here. The thermostat is right here at where the, the uh, entrance to the radiator is from the engine. So the thermostat is right here. At the rear of the engine that's capped off, and the, the heater hose is actually here. So like I said, the Mazda, the Mazda factory engineers have used this port as a, a semi-cooling system by using the heater. What we're going to do is we're going to change, we're going to move the thermostat from the front of the engine to the rear of the engine. So now the flow is going to come, the flow, the hot water is going to come out of the rear of the engine to the top of the radiator and then the pump is going to again draw the water from the bottom of the radiator back into the engine and circulate it. So that's going to be the flow of the coolant. So the coolant is going to come in the front and exit the back. Now this kit uses parts that are readily available at your local parts store and your Ace Hardware store. These are the parts we're going to use. We're going to use Gates hoses. One hose is a 21864. Another hose, 22382. We'll need four feet of 5 eighths heater hose. Two inch diameter clamps, four of those. Two of a one inch diameter clamp. And an Ace uh, plumbing, piece of plumbing pipe because we're going to make a union in the hoses. And then we're going to need miscellaneous wire and solder. You can see the hoses right here. This is the hose that will connect to the thermostat when it's rerouted. This is the hose that we're going to use, when the hose that will go to the radiator. The pipe will actually come between them. This hose will be because we have to extend the heater hose to the front of the engine. So the heater hose, the, the heater is over here. Here's our heater. So this union here, now we have to take that union, we're going to have to move that up to here. There's one other thing that we're going to do. There's a sensor that's in this manifold in the back that we're moving to the front, and we're going to have to extend the wires for that. That's why we need these wires and the solder. 
we have an engine in the stand here to look at and we'll look at the conventional porting on the engine. This is actually the suction from the water pump. This is the inlet from the bottom of the radiator. The inlet pipe is right here. Now I'll spin the engine around and we'll look at Here's where the thermostat on the conventional engine is, on the standard stock engine. So we'll look at this. We're going to have to take this piece off. So we'll take this. We'll look at the thermostat. Here we go. A little bit of gasket there. The cap. The thermostat. When you look at the thermostat, an interesting part of the thermostat is that it has what they call a weep hole. This is a breathing hole. This is to allow air to vent out of the system. The weep holes are always at the top. So when the thermostat always goes in, the weep hole is at the top to let the air out. Now we'll look at the back of the engine because we're going to switch components. This is the plate here that we're going to, we're going to put the thermostat on this plate here. We have an EGR pipe. We have to remove the EGR pipe. There's a sensor right here. We talked about that sensor. We're going to have to extend those wires on that sensor. So the EGR pipe comes off, push the clip, this is actually the coolant temp sensor for the computer. So this sensor actually runs the radiator fans and tells the computer how hot the engine is getting. So we'll release this plate on the back, this is actually a blocking plate and this is the heater hose pipe right here. If you look at the back of the engine, the heater hose comes out here and then goes into the piping and then into the heater core in the car itself. Now we can see the port at the back of the engine. And it, it is actually this, this, the same shape port as the front port. So we're going to take the thermostat and the thermostat is going to be installed at the back of the engine now. Now there's a gasket here, we'll have to remove the gasket. That's the hardest part of the job is actually to remove this gasket right here. Because you're kind of cramped, you have to work through here and then scrape this gasket. Once you have the gasket clean, you're going to put the thermostat back in. And you can use the same thermostat over again. Then you're going to put your the front housing, the front piece that holds the thermostat in, back on here. And now you've moved the thermostat to the back of the engine. Now we'll go to the front of the engine. And on this, of course, we're going to use some new gaskets. On this, we're going to put this. We can put this back on here. Two ways we can put it. We can put it this way, or we can put it down this way. Either or. And the difference being, on some of the cars, we're able to put it up. Some of the uh, cars are, have already have a different kind of intake, uh, aftermarket intake, and it allows us to put it uh, directly straight up. But on the stock one, we have to put it down because it's in the way of the stock system. So now we're going to put this one back together. So now we have our sensor here. So now we have the problem of extending the wires and moving our sensor connection up to the sensor. So let's take a look at that back here. Here's our sensor. So we're going to have to trim this wire, cut these wires. There's three wires here. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I would use maybe three different colors and make yourself a little map so you know which colors you're going to use and match the colors in there. And you're going to extend this sensor so that it comes from here and can come all the way through this valley here and up to the front.